Uh, now we will begin the uh, section 5.3, the binomial distribution. The binomial probability distribution is a widely occurring discrete probability distribution. One characteristic of binomial distribution is that there are only two possible outcomes on a particular trial or, uh, or an experiment. I mean only two we have success or failure. Uh, for example, the statement in, uh, for, uh, in, exam in question uh, do true or false, either true or false, only two outcomes. Note that the outcomes are mutually exclusive, mean, uh, meaning that the answer is true or false can both occur in the same time. Another example uh, may be a, a product classified is it acceptable or not acceptable. acceptable. So, in a quality control. So, uh, the classification may uh, not uh, impossible to be uh, the same at the same time. Frequently, we classify the two possible outcomes as a success or failure. So, we use uh, the term success or failure uh, a lot in the binomial distribution. Uh, but, success or failure doesn't mean uh, uh, and don't imply that the outcome uh, which you have success is good, uh, but uh, that uh, I know I want uh, to uh, and are interested this output. Not uh, success means that is only good and the other one that have failure is bad. Never. Just success that means that uh, I interested in this output. Another characteristic for uh, the binomial distribution is that a random variable uh, result can count. That is the count number of success uh, in the total number of trials. When we flip a pair five times uh, and count the number of time of hits a pair, selecting workers uh, in a company, uh, select 20 boxes uh, from uh, any product, uh, these are uh, all uh, um, uh, examples for account countable trials. And uh, the very important characteristics in uh, the binomial uh, distribution uh, is the probability of success remains the same in each trial. Uh, the success no, uh, not uh, uh, differ from one to the other. Uh, and the final characteristic is the probability uh, 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 in the binomial probability distribution is that the trials are independent and it's a very important point we have independent means that there is no pattern in the trial and the outcome of a particular trial doesn't affect the outcome of any other trial okay so uh, what we say uh, is uh, uh, is summarized in this table uh, there are must be fixed trial and there are the two outcomes should be reduced uh, we have only two outcomes uh, and our the trial must be independent and uh, and remain and the party of success remain as the same uh, so uh, the outcome of a binomial experiment and the corresponding probabilities of this outcome are called binomial distribution the notation for the polynomial distribution is described in is this table. Uh, P of S is the sample for the probability of success. B of F is the sample for probability of failure. And P is the probability of uh, success. And Q is the complementary rule that we have discussed in the previous chapter. Uh, is the complementary for the probability of success, which is the probability of failure which is equal 1 minus p equal to q. n is the number of trials and x is the number of uh, success in, in the trials. Uh, where x uh, is in between 0 and n and x take a certain values that are discrete values uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, not in a range, uh, not in decimal values. It, they are discrete. Uh, the binomial, uh, the probability formula here is p of x equal to n factorial divided by n minus x factorial uh, multiplied by n factorial. Uh, if you uh, use this 
uh, and recall uh, the counting rule that we have uh, studied in the previous lecture. We find this uh, formula is formula for uh, n combination x. Uh, so we can uh, write like this, denominator and denominator, and, or we can write it's uh, n combination uh, x. Let me see, uh, we can write uh, c uh, n combination x instead uh, we uh, like this. Or uh, we can write like this, n, okay. And here x and zero. Uh, you can write like this, or like write this, or uh, write it like as an emulator and emulator. It's up to you. Uh, and this is a, the first part in the probability distribution uh, formula. The second part is multiplying the probability of success to the power x which is the number of trials, and multiply the complementary, which is the probability of failure, to the power n minus x. So this is the uh, rule for binomial probability distribution. Let's take an example. Uh, a survey found that one out of five Americans says he or she has visited a doctor in any given month. If 10 people are selected at random, find the probability that exactly three will have visited a doctor last month. Uh, in this survey, we find uh, the values that we are interested in to calculate the probability binomial probability distribution. Uh, let's first begin with the requirements as we uh, as we studied before in the previous lecture, we first should determine what we want to calculate. Here we want to calculate the three visited doctor. So we have an experiment, and the experiment is this have two outcomes who visited the doctor or not visited the doctor. So we have a success and failure. We have our two outcomes from this trial then we can consider it as a binomial situation because we have two group of people who visit the doctor or didn't visit the doctor and select a sample 10 person and we want to determine the probability distribution for who visited the doctor so the success for us here and the value of p that we want to determine is and interested in the number of people who visit the doctor. So the uh, value of P here and the probability of success here is the, uh, we, is the uh, number of people or we are interested in number of people who are visited the doctor. Let's take, let's then uh, get all the samples uh, from the data given. Uh, the number of uh, random sample is equal to 10. Okay, 10 is the uh, random. Uh, who are selected at random n equal to 10 then get the number of x that the values of success that we are interested we are interested in exactly three who visit the doctor x equals three in this case and then the probability of success we want to determine how many people uh, to visit the doctor. So we uh, recall uh, again, uh, reading again the example, a survey found that, found that one out of five say he visited the doctor. He, the, he or she visited a doctor. So the probability of success or the probability of visiting the doctor, because the visit the doctor in this case is success for us, is equal to 1 over 5 and the rest which is the complementary rule for us equals to 4 over 5. Now we are ready for substituting in the binomial distribution formula which is n factorial divided by n minus x factorial times x factorial over p to the power 3, the number to, uh, x, 
and uh, q 4 over 5 to the power 10 minus 3 n minus x to the power 7 so the value will be 0.201 he so here is a, a probability with 2.201 that is a random sample of 10 people exactly of them visited a doctor another example is a survey on employment a survey from teen ages research found that 30 percent of the teen ages consumers receive their spending money from part-time jobs if five teenagers are selected at random find the probability that at least three of them will have a part time so we find First, we will, should find the value of n, the value of x, the value of p, the value of q to substitute in the, uh, in the binomial distribution rule. Uh, first, why we know that is the binomial case? Because the survey uh, divided into two parts, success and failure. And I mean, the uh, jobs or that have part-time jobs teenagers that ha have part-time jobs and don't have the time uh, not have uh, part-time jobs uh, so uh, the number x uh, is at least three at least mean at least mean greater than or equal three greater than or equal three so we should add up the value three probability of 3 because the equal sign and greater than uh, so probability of 4 and of probability of 5 because we have only 5 teenagers selected at random so the total number of x's here up to only 5 then we have uh, x uh, calculated a probability of x when x equals 3 and the P of x when x equal 4 and p of x when x equal 5 and adding them all up uh, the value for uh, the success uh, or uh, the uh, number of people who have part time uh, remains the same in the three uh, times uh, in all the three cases because it's equal to 30 percent uh, p equal to 30% 0.3 uh, and uh, we will uh, take a total sample size in factorial n uh, over n minus x multiplied by x factorial and p equal to 0.3 and the complementary equal to 0.7 to the power 5 minus 3 equal 2 and substituting in the uh, binomial distribution rule and they get the values in the three cases and adding them all up hence we find the total value now uh, the final step in uh, this distribution or the discrete uh, distribution binomial uh, distribution uh, how to get the mean variance and the standard deviation uh, for the uh, binomial distribution actually we have three rules uh, uh, mu is the mean for the binomial distribution equal to a sample size n multiplied by the probability of success and the uh, variance for the uh, uh, and the variance is equal to uh, uh, the variance equal to sorry uh, variance equal to sigma square uh, n number uh, multiplied by a probability of success multiplied by probability of failure or complementary for success and standard deviation is the square root for the variance sigma square uh, let's take an example the example of tossing coin if the coin tossed four times find the mean variance standard deviation we of course we know is uh, that when we toss in coin the probability of success uh, that we interested in uh, here uh, heads number of heads number of heads may be uh, uh, the uh, in 
uh, each case will be half. Uh, so, uh, and the n, uh, the number uh, of random uh, uh, trials is equal to 4. So, uh, the mean will be n times the probability of success half equal to 2. This is for the mean. Then find the value of q of sigma square is equal to n times v times q, which is equal to n 4 times half times half equal to 1. And finally, uh, the uh, standard deviation is the square root for uh, variance equal to 1. Another example, a, an 8-sided die is rolled 560 times. Find the mean variance standard deviation of the number 7s that will be rolled. That it's a polynomial experiment. Why it's a polynomial experiment with n? Uh, because that it hide it's now that we are interested in the seven that will be appear. So if we have seven, this is a success for us. If we haven't seven, this is a failure for us. So the probability of getting seven only one over eight. The die Note that the die here is eight-sided, eight-sided, not six-sided. So the probability of success here will be one over eight because we are interested in the number seven only. And this is a success for us. And all the other values uh, become failure for us. So uh, the complementary is Q, what's the probability of failure, equal one equal seven over eight. We can now uh, use uh, uh, the uh, what is the uh, requirement is what is the mean mean uh, mu not mu square sorry it's mu only mu equal to n times p which is equal to a uh, number uh, of sum of dosage times or rolls time five hundred sixty times one over eight equal seven. Now sigma square is n times p times q equal to uh, the 61.25 and finally sigma equal to root a variance equal to 7.826 another example likelihood of twins a statistical pollution published by life insurance company reported that 2% of the all American birth results in twins if a random sample of 8,000 births is taken, find variance and deviation of the number of births that would result in trends. It's a binomial distribution situation because we are either twins or not twins. If we know the result, what the two types only, uh, twins or not twins. So we have two outcomes. So it's a binomial distribution, and to get the mean, we can multiply the total uh, sample taken, 8,000, and by the probability of getting twins, because we are interested in getting twins, which is two, and this is the success for us, uh, and get the mean value mu equal to 160. And the, the variance in this case will be the total sample size taken 8,000 times the probability of success uh, 2% times the probability of failure or not twins, which is 0.98. And finally, we get the standard deviation, which is the square root of the variance and 12.523. Uh, 12 Here, uh, up to this point, we already finished the, uh, our lecture today and take uh, the uh, probability distribution. The first type is a binomial probability distribution. Please study well and solve uh, the following uh, solving uh, the following exercise uh, that covered all what we studied in this lecture. Study uh, well and then solve this exercise.